One of the annoyances, especially when you're trying to load things and unload things out of these compartments, is this little strip here gets all bent out of shape. And I'll bring the camera in a little closer so you can see it better. And there, you can, if you can follow my finger, you can see where it's all bent up. And this just comes from loading things in and out, just sliding things in and out. And it gets caught on stuff, and this is so weak that it just gets bent. The seal here is compromised, so this is no longer leak-proof. Plus, in the worst-case scenarios, these catches up here won't catch properly on here, and you can't, you can't even lock them or close them. Well, there's a couple ways to fix these uh, mashed-up railings. One is to get a uh, pair of vice grips like this. It's got these long jaws. And you can go in here, like so, and just kind of straighten them out a little bit. And they actually, surprisingly, do a pretty good job. The other solution is if you don't have a set of pliers like that, is to get yourself a block of wood and a small hammer. And then you can just uh, try to pound it back. Now this, I found, doesn't really do quite a nice of a job. That other uh, type of pliers really smooths this out a lot better. But it's better than nothing if that's all you have is a hammer. One thing you can do to help prevent damaging the slip in the future is to go buy these things called noodles. And these are for swimming pools and, you know, playing at the lake and stuff. This one's about two inch in diameter and I paid about a buck for this. Uh, they have even larger ones that are around three inches in diameter, and these are around three dollars. But also I found at the home center this water pipe insulation, which is about one and a half inch in diameter. Now if you notice, the inside diameter also on these are a little different, so one of these may work better than the other. What's nice about this is that it is pre-sliced here, so all you have to do is run your finger through here and you can uh, open it up. Whereas with these, you're going to have to find a way to cut that. And simply, what I like to do is if I'm loading some heavy stuff, I'll just put this in here like so, like that, and then I will load my stuff in and out, and then when I'm done and getting ready to go, I just pull it back out. Now, is this going to prevent totally damaging uh, this slip? Probably not. And is it worth it to you? Maybe, maybe not. But it's at least an idea you might want to try because I found, at least for me, this tends to help a little bit because what happens is it doesn't catch this edge when you're bringing stuff in and out. I think that's the main point of why this is damaged is as you're moving things in and out, you're catching that edge. And that at least prevents that from happening. And remember, the only thing that works on an RV is the owner.